The other day, I watched a video from Frebuget Disc Golf, and it was a good video. Hello, Internet. In this video, he was addressing his student who had a problem. If we're bad internet coach, we see, well, the elbow's going down here, right? The elbow is down off of the swing plane. So just, just get your elbow up is the advice, right? Why is your elbow going down? Get your elbow up. And that is a very common problem. I see this all the time. And actually, I had this problem too. Trebuchet's solution was a very simple one. And I tried it myself and I found it very useful. You see, the problem that causes the elbow dip most often is that we mess up with the rotational plane. The ideal version is that we do this kind of shot where our shoulders rotate in one place in one rotational axis. The problem most of us have is that we do this and we don't actually rotate in one place. We do this. So we need to take out the upper body from the throw. I had the similar drill called the postman drill where I want to keep a post here and I want to hold my torso so that I only use my hand. Well, Trebuchet does the same without the post but also addresses the front leg like the front hip is the main supporting point which is correct so that's what the one leg drill accomplishes is it allows you to simplify things by putting your back foot on that point and leaving your back foot there so your hips are going to rotate you're hopefully not going to fall over hips are going to rotate rear foot is going to stay there front foot is going to stay here head is going to stay in this spot so i've created an axis of rotation that's not going to move. Now, as we throw from the front hip and all of our torso is supported by one supporting point only and we throw from there, we don't have the urge to do anything with our upper body because our upper body is the main culprit here. We only need the hand to throw from here to here. Now, what I think the core problem behind these sort of biomechanical misconceptions of trying to pull our shoulders into wrong directions and messing up with the rotational axis, they come from one source. Well, there can be many, but I think the main source is that we want to think that this golf backhand shot is a full body movement. And what do we think when we think a full body movement? We think a Olympic discus, we think Olympic weightlifting, we think pulling a semi-trailer truck, like half torn. Well, they are full body movements because you need a lot of body mass to move an object. So we need to move our whole body to gain a bit more mass. Once we do that, we get a lot stronger, but we sacrifice speed. Now look at the best and the most efficient throwers we know, Kyle Klein, Gannon Burr, Calvin Heimberg, Eagle McMahon. Do you think they are strong? They are not strong. Really? Are you kidding me? Now, we need to be fast, not strong. If you're trying to push a car in front of you, you need to be strong. You need a lot of body mass so that you can push it faster. But we are dealing with a 175 gram plastic object. It's not an Olympic sized discus. It's not even a baseball bat. You see a baseball bat. It's also adding leverage to our arms and is a lot more, is a lot heavier than this. So naturally we need a little bit more body mass to throw that or to move that. But this, not that much. But if you have like 200 pounds of muscles and bones, it doesn't add anything to move it around. On the contrary, you're just moving a big object like your body to move a small object like this. If you want to throw this object as fast as possible, think about it. You want to throw like this, not like this. 
because if you do this you will throw yourself over the brace you mess up with the axis of the shoulders and you are also just becoming slow so what do we need well like trebuchet teaches we need to be on our front leg like this let's see i'm in the jungle here front leg like this and we need to throw our arm forward as fast as possible and then try not to move our head because when we move our head like this or like this we are switching the body mass from center to the right if you're all right so that will naturally of course mess up with the axis of our torso but it will also just make things slower because we are moving now the whole body mass instead of moving just a small object we need a strong supporting point which is our front hip and if we let our torso to really fall on our hip then our body will rotate on its axis without us forcing it and it will do it naturally in the right path because we are not messing with it anymore i'm saying that we don't have to try to turn our torso not at all we need to let it turn but that's a different thing it will turn when we have only one supporting point and we are not blocking the turning with the back leg but we are letting it slide and letting it just hover above the ground so hip arm and after that we can let our body turn and the follow through take over but before that we just need to be as fast as possible and that happens with swinging our hand with a strong supporting point so all we need is two h's hip and hand hip and hand hip and hand that's it be fast not strong and go hawk some discs. See you later. <laughs>